Hey everybody, thanks for tuning in. I know it's been a while since we sent out a vlog message, but I got friends now <laughs> who are willing to be in the videos. So we're your friendly neighborhood literacy team at the State Department of Education in the Office of Curriculum and Instruction. I'm Josh Flores, Director of Secondary English Language Arts, and... Danny Calvin, Director of Elementary ELA. And Sharon Morgan, Director of Early Childhood. And we got updates, we got stuff to share with you. Can't wait to get some of this out. I'll let y'all go first. What's going on in, like, elementary? Um, there's a lot going on in elementary, but one of the things that we really want you to be aware of is that on March 3rd, if you can see that, we're going to have a webinar for RSA updates, and this is going to give you some guidance because we know that the scores are coming back later, and a lot of people are kind of stressing out about that. So if you can join us March 3rd, 2 to 3, the link is on the website, and we're also going to be sending it out in our newsletter. And if you have any questions, let us know before that. Yeah. Two to three, just for that right, right? Two to three yep. p.m. One yep. hour party. Yep. It's like happy hour. Yep. It's RSA happy hour. Fantastic. Bring your own drinks. <laughs> oh. Sonic only. Yeah, Sonic cups. Yes. Blind race for learning. Uh, <laughs> Sharon. Yep. I'm, I'm going to be there at the RSA web. Oh yeah, both. Because it takes like multiple people to deal with. That. Yes, it does. So yeah. it's a webinar, so you know it's going to be awesome. If you have any RSA questions, contact Sharon Morgan. <laughs> you can <laughs> also Danielle Calvin. Yeah. I just put like your email addresses down here yeah. at the bottom. It's a note for self. There's your email addresses right there. All right, and other major updates. Something that we're all invested in. Well, first I want to give a shout out to my teachers that were part of the implementation collaborative. Our little research project that we did about the standards implementation and they really troubleshooted them with us this fall. Lots of strengths and really gave us guidance on where we can build products or resources yeah. to help with year two of implementation because we know that implementation doesn't stop in year one. Mm -hmm. There's still a lot of stuff to do. And, and thank you for taking time to do that. We know you're all busy and you have things to do but this is so valuable to us to make sure that we are meeting the needs of all of our teachers and educators across the state. So thank you for taking that time. Real talk, have you read the report? Me? Yeah. Sure. Yes. They haven't read my report. Read it. It's so good. We've so good. It. I read, I read, I read it's so really good. So Cliff thank you notes. for the feedback yeah. and thank you to NSU for giving the re like research, yes. making it sound like smart. Yes. And well, so what we're doing then is we're doing another round of summer camp, essentially. Yay. Our ELA task force dose for year two implementation. We're now accepting applications. Applications are due on March 24th. So we've got a busy month coming up. So go ahead and plan accordingly. Have a couple dates set aside in June, July, and August where we're gonna meet face to face. We'll meet for three days, two nights in June. June 6th through the 8th. We'll meet for two days, one night in July on the 5th and 6th. So that's right after July 4th, July 4th, and in the, the 1st of August, Tuesday, August 1st through August 2nd. So those three in-person meetings, most of the work's going to be done virtually, so it's really important that you understand the ins and outs of Google Drive to be part of this committee. Really appreciate that. Actually, if you want to really impress us, you'll go and find the application in the Google Docs format and just fill it out that way. <laughs> just a wink little trick there. Also, keep in mind, this is not PD. You're not doing this for the sake of getting professional development. We are actually having a workshop. We will be building essential bundles aligned to the standards for teachers to use across the state. You can see this framework at bit.ly backslash ELAOK bundles. It's a good website. You can take a peek at some of the stuff we'll be doing. We'll also be doing a building a comprehensive breakdown of literacy skills aligned to the standards. Why don't you talk about that since y'all been really headlining that. that so what we're doing is we're looking at the standards and we're looking at the objective level because we know, and I love this analogy, one of our good math persons shared this analogy of the training we were doing that the standards, the standard level, the big standard is our rung, the top rung of a ladder, and then the objectives is how we get there. So those are the rungs that we crawl up to get to that big standard. So what we're doing is we're working on taking those objective levels and breaking them down into skills and evidences that kids can do so that we can better understand them as educators. And when I say we, it's not Sharon and I, it's actually right. going to be our framework writers, our people that are going to be part of that group. You're going to do the work because you are out in the field, you're working with the kids, and you are teachers and educators and you know the language that needs to go in there so that we have a firm understanding of it. Right, and definitely then, yeah. it's essential that we have teachers that have, are used to the standards and have used them in their classroom to give us feedback on that portion. Yeah. So a strong understanding of standards. Uh, 
Google Docs know how, know how to work virtually, because most of the work is going to take place in a virtual environment, although we have those three required in-person events. It'll start in May and go all the way to September. And oh, guess what? There is a bonus stipend to cover. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you could, it, some of it's for to cover the cost of, you know, you doing some hard work. But it's also to cover the cost of any travel, lodging, and food. That's all on you, but that's through the stipend. So I think it'll be easier. You can choose how, I don't know, how baller you want to go with that hotel when you come and meet with us, right? And sleepovers are fun, so you might want to collaborate and find some people that you can have a fun time with and not snore and take up the bed and things like that. That sounds horrible. <laughs> I would definitely spend my stipend on just a room for me. I don't know. I don't, I don't share in the room. I don't know. Or, I don't, yeah. Like, yeah, because you, unless you get like a hotel room with like two bathrooms, I'm not about to. Oh my gosh. So, He's such a diva. So, Sorry. I have, so, <laughs> I'm not taking that risk. I've had, hey, when I first started this job, I had to share hotels room with Levi Patrick, the secondary math director. Yeah. I, yeah. Do you see his hair? It's probably like an guy. hour. Hairy guy. Hairy guy. So, yeah. yeah. I, can, I can see that. Yeah, I'm, I'm knocking on that bathroom door. Hurry up. You look pretty. You look pretty. <laughs> all right. Anyways, uh, May through September, in-person events, three in-person events. All the details are on the apps. You can see an example of the work that we intended. Please contact Danny if you have any questions about that. She'd be happy to answer that. Uh, can you give out your cell phone number? No. Oh. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, you can also contact me, 405-283-2414. 405 -283 Email me those applications, but if you do have a question, it's probably faster for you just to text me a question or give me a call, voicemail, I'll get back to you sooner than I would through the email because our emails is, is weird. It's harder for me to get a hold of my email when I'm on the road. So that's there, and I, th I guess that's it. That was a quick message, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Any other thing else? Thank you for being a part of this and being willing to join this group. We are excited to meet with you yeah. and to get your insight and your expertise. And we hope you're interested because we want teachers from all levels, from pre-K all the way up to high school. So. And teachers that represent the great state of Oklahoma. So we want people in the far reaches and the far reaches on this side. I'm not from Oklahoma, so I can't tell you which side is which, <laughs> but from every side and in the middle. Plus, how many times you got to go to APSI in the summer? Come on, let's do something different, right? <laughs> you veteran teachers out there, you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> all right. <laughs> That's it. So thanks. It's, it's fun to have a team. All right. Yeah, yeah. Team, get lit. Let's go. Alrighty. Done. Yeah, I thought there we go. Okay. You got crowned in here. You got crowned in here. Why is I'm it? I'm looking nervous. Why is it separate? I mean, why is it backwards? What are you talking about? It's not backwards. Oh, oh, on oh this because side it's, of me. Because that's where this this is. It just does that. It's fine. You good? There's a mirror on the door over there. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> hey everybody. You're not starting yet. Why am I not starting yet? That's what that dot means. It's like recording.